Hello everybody and welcome to Science Times Rhymes, where we turn science into song. This week's actually a collaboration between myself and Rob Nelson of Untamed Science and Anna Rothschild of Gross Science. Rob has teamed up with the Cal Academy to travel across the entire globe, seven continents, and figure out what is the arthropod diversity in different homes around the globe. What we want to know is this. Does the incredible bug diversity that we see in the rainforest actually end up creeping into people's houses? Gross Science did a related video this week about the Brazilian wandering spider. This highly aggressive arachnid roams around constantly in search of food. The spider's wandering often takes it right into people's homes. Whose venom is famous for being both deadly and erection inducing. Here's the song. Be the crawlies that live in your wild pose less than the humility. The sure like our homes, but we sure like our homes and examine the diversity. See, compare and contrast these spiders and ants when houses surrounded by trees. But when we're more urban, is there less disturbance from insects like book lice and fleas? Fleas, houses are habitats, man. Arthropods hatching the plan, literally hatching the ants. Since human houses began, they've been below your divan. But as human scavengers scan, now we can catalog them, question and answer and ramble on by the back of the names. And Amazon, Antarctic, Africa, France, yeah. But tell me other. They have evolved, cohabitating your four walls and walls. Are you behind bail of ignorance walls? Or curious about the most scary of all? Brazilian wandering spiders who wander inside our homes looking for shade when it's hot. And if they happen to bite, you'll be up all night and I don't mean insomnia. Wow. The creepy deep bodies that live in your wild pose are less than a humility. They shut like our homes, but we shut like our homes and examine their diversity. Comparing contrast, these spiders and ants and houses surrounded by trees. But when we're more urban, is there less disturbance for insects like big glass and fleas? Fleas, fleas. For last week's Finish the Rhyme, shouts out to Patrick Donahue, Ridwan1337, and Mr. Lud Science. But I'm giving a bicep, a fist, and a gas station emoji to Rick Heron for If Congress won't act, then I will. I'll be swinging haymakers at these fossil fuel shills. I don't condone violence, Rick, but well done nonetheless. This week on Finish the Rhyme. Human stories can be told via bugs and mites. Make sure to check out Anna's videos on gross science and Rob's coverage of this entire insect project over at Untamed Science. Make sure to subscribe to both of them. See you next week. More politicians use diss tracks to get the word out about their new policies. Yeah, I learned the game from Jimmy Carter. Gotta tackle carbon. Have to ask the white kids ain't breathing in that garbage. 